What's up guys? So I just wanted to come in this video and go over my current training split. I had somebody ask about that the other day. And so I figured I would just make a video on it and explain what my current split is looking like. So um, I actually, over the past, it really had been over two years, I had been running a five day split, which was um, basically push, pull, legs, rest, push, back and hamstrings, rest. So with that split, I was training five days a week. I had two rest days, which for me at the time was Thursday and Sunday. Um, and I was actually running that split for like over two years, basically since I initially started working with AJ Morris, my coach. And that's just what I was running. And it was all the way up until like the early part of 2024 when I actually switched over to a new split. So yeah, I've been running a split for some months now um, and been enjoying it. Um, so it's essentially a push-pull leg split, but I'm going to show you here. There's two different push days, two different pull days, two different leg days, and two, yeah, that's that. <laughs> that's it. So, but the way it looks here is you can see day one, push, day two, pull, day three is rest, and then we hit legs, and then we have another rest day. So we, we're resting between the leg sessions. Um, and then here we go, we get push two, and then we get pull two, and then we have that rest, and then we hit legs, okay? And then rest. So that's how it is. So it's basically it's push pull legs, but there's two different variations or two different um, sessions for each push pull and legs. Um, and also, yeah, you know, it's a little weird, you know, for me to now be having the rest day between legs. I, I hadn't done that before, but it's just more so to ensure that I'm, you know, not you know, accumulating too much fatigue, you know, before I hit legs. Um, and also, you know, some movements have been switched up a little bit or some movements have been switched up with this new setup. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's that. Now, if we go over to it, um, yeah, so we got, I'm going to go over and go in here and you can kind of see what we're currently doing. So, um, yeah, so we got push one. So push one, this is um, what I was actually initially running here. Um, starting out with a single arm cuffed lateral raise where the cable height is low. Um, doing three working sets in the 10 to 20 rep range. Um, and secondary was flat barbell press, three working sets. And these are the rep ranges, 160 to 10, 135, and 110 to 12. Now, I actually have currently been running um, flat Smith press instead because of a shoulder, because my shoulder got injured a while back. And so I decided to just stick with machines for right now. So I've actually been running here flat Smith press and then the high incline Smith as well. Um, so high incline Smith, two working sets, basically a top set and a back off set there. And for these working sets, I do take them to failure. So I'm not trying to leave the reps in the tank here. Okay. Um, so 160 to 10 and 110 to 12. Seated dip machine, which right now I've actually been running body or I've been running weighted dips because I don't have a dip machine in the gym I go to. So I've been running weighted dips recently doing a top set. And then a back off set there, 6 to 10, 1, 10 to 12. You can see single arm cable lateral raise again. Um, but this time we're at the hip level cable height. And so the difference there is we're challenging the shortened, we're challenging the muscles in the shortened range more here um, when we're doing the low cable height. And then when we, we come here to doing the having the cable height a little bit higher, we're challenging more the length and range of the muscle. So, you know, initially, um, you know, you have, you're not as fatigued starting out in the session. So um, it makes more sense to start challenging the shortened range a bit more. Um, and then once that gets more fatigued, 
um, challenging the length and range more. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, uh, then doing like tricep extensions here, you know, a top set of back or two or two sets of 11 to 15, one set of eight to 10, and then a single arm tricep extension, two sets of 11 to 15, one, eight to 10. And then I do the ab crunch machine on this session, one set of eight to 10, two sets of 11 to 15. Um, and then I have a pull, pull one or pull a session. So this session is supposed to be a little more upper back biased. Um, and this session I've been actually been running dead stock barbell rows. Um, and I've been doing two working sets, you know, basically a top set and a back off set. Um, so one set of eight to 10 and one set of four to six for these, these are dead stock barbell rows. And um, I've really been doing them because I actually switched over from doing the RDL to doing stiff leg deadlifts. So, you know, when you're doing stiff leg deadlifts, obviously you're pulling from the floor. So with this row variation, it has a little more carryover, a little more transfer to, you know, the stiff leg deadlift. So that's also a bit of a reason why I've been running it instead of the barbell row I had been running prior. Um, but yeah, also been doing single arm lap pull downs with a bench supporting me. Um, so having like a bench in front of the cable station, sitting on the bench, obviously, and doing the single arm lap pull downs that way. Um, so like one set of six to 10, two sets of 10 to 12. Um, and I've also been doing here, which is like an upper back row. Um, so I've been doing just like a row machine, essentially. Um, I've been just a chest supported row machine. I'll do basically a top set of eight to 10 reps, and then I'll do a working set of 10 to 12 reps. And then I'll go into a lat biased cable row. Um, so essentially what you're seeing here is I have, you know, the, the free weight row on this session. Then we have a, a lat focused pull down then I have a more upper back focused row here. Then we go with a lat focused row. And then the next move is an upper back pull down, which is basically just an overhand pull down, overhand lat pull down. And I'll do a top set of six to 10, a back off set of 10 to 12. Um, so pretty much alternating between like a lat biased movement and then a upper back biased movement. Um, and then finish off on this session, I'll, I've actually been running um, a machine single arm bicep curl. So just a single arm bicep curl machine that I have at this current gym I'm going to. And I'm doing three working sets there, um, you know, two sets of 11 to 15, one set of 8 to 10. Um, and then I've been doing a single arm cable bicep curl, but this time I'm standing in front of the cable. So the cable is actually behind me. So that's challenging the length and range of the biceps a bit more. Um, so yeah, same thing there. Essentially we're just doing two working sets, but one set of eight to 10, one set of 11 to 15. Then ending off with a rear delt cable fly, which actually I've typically been doing the reverse pec deck um, and just doing two working sets there. Um, and so, yeah, that's the pool A session. We got our legs A, which is more quad biased. Um, so on this session, doing the adductor machine. And right now I've just been doing one working set of eight to 10. Um, and then going to the leg extensions, two working sets there. I'll do one set of 12 to 15, one set of six to 10 there. Essentially just the top set and the back off set. Um, Again, keep in mind, all these sets are taken to failure, so I'm not trying to leave reps in the tank. So that's why the volume is a bit lower than some people, than what some people are doing. Um, and then I'll go into a seated hamstring curl. Um, and with that, I've been doing three working sets, um, two sets of 8 to 10, one set of 12 to 15. Um, and then going to the hack squat. Um, so for that, I've been doing, you know, like a top set and a back off set. Now with that, um, you know, the top set around that six to eight rep range. Um, and I've been, 
alternating. Like sometimes I'll run it where I'll do for the top set, I'll actually do pause. I'll, I'll do pauses at the bottom and, and I'll reset at the top. So essentially what I mean by that is, you know, I'll come down, pause, and then come all the way up, you know, take a second to reset and then come back down for that next rep. Um, so that's what I mean by reset. Now for the back offset, it's higher rep range, 12 to 15 reps. Is continuous reps. So what I'll do on that set with the back off is I'll essentially aim to not rest at the top of the movement. So basically, you know, you're coming down, all the way down, and then come right back up. As soon as I come all the way back up, I come, you know, I aim to come right back down. So I'm not pausing at the top. Um, so that's basically how I um, have been doing my hack squats recently. Um, like the first set, I've been running pauses um, at the bottom, and I'll reset a bit at the top, and then that back off set, I'll try to you know make ensure that I'm not like resting so much at the top, you know. Um, but yeah, that's the hack squat, and then I'll do a leg press, trying to make that leg press more quad focused. So like I've been basically at the gym I'm going to, I just have one leg press to choose from, unfortunately. Um, so what I'll do is on this day. I'll have a lower foot placement um, and my feet will be a little bit, um, my stance will be a little bit more narrow and I'll have a lower foot placement. Um, and I'll do, yeah, a top set of eight to 10. And then I'll do a back off set of 10 to 12. Um, and what I'll do is on that back off set, I'm pausing at the bottom. I'm pausing in the hole for like two seconds before I come back. Um, come back up and also similar a little bit similar to the hack squat what i'll do is for the top set of eight to ten i'll you know like as like you know you come down and then as i bring the weight back up you know i'll reset before i come back down for that next rep okay and for the back offset what i'm doing is i'm actually pausing at the bottom so i come all the way down pause for two seconds and now i'm coming back up and then as soon as I come all the way back up, I'm coming right back down. I'm not resting at that top. So that's very challenging, man. If you haven't done the leg press like that, man, that's very challenging, pausing at the bottom and not resting at the top. Um, but that's what I've been doing since I've been doing this new split. And then I've also been doing the dumbbell split squats, and I'll have a bench where my back foot will be um, on a supported by a bench. Um, and I'll have dumbbells with that. And so just one working set of 12 to 15 reps there. Um, and then I'll do for this session, I've been doing seated calf raise. Um, I know it says standing here, but on the other session, I'll do standing on this session. I've actually been doing seated and I'll do three working sets of eight to 15 reps. And then I'll have a drop set on the last set. Um, and yeah, that's my quad focused leg session right now. Um, and yeah, push two. This is the um, push two session. So um, with this session, I'll start out with um, a lateral lateral raise again, but this time a, a machine lateral raise. Um, I'll do three working sets there of 11 to 15 reps, and then um, do a drop set on that after the final set. So after that final set, I'll just do a drop set to failure. Um, and then we got incline barbell press. That's what I was running. I was running that as well as the high incline dumbbell press prior to my shoulder being injured a while back. And so since then, what I've been doing, I've been doing Smith machine, low incline press. And then for the high incline on this session, I've been running a um, shoulder press machine. Um, so I've been running a shoulder press machine. Um, and then the Smith low incline. So for that three working sets, pretty similar, basically similar rep range to what I was doing for the, the flat bench. And the reason why it was set up like this was actually because at the time I was doing free weight movements and, um, I was just finding that like, I, I was preferring to do the heavier set, the heaviest set, like in, in the middle, you know, so I was like, that was essentially how I was running it, where I would do like a set of around six to 10 reps. Um, and I might even leave a few reps in the tank on that set. Um, but then I would do 
that second set would be a heavier set where I'm really pushing more. And then I would basically do like a back off with like a lighter, a higher rep set, also the failure. Um, but that of course changed once I got injured. So what I've been running is essentially still kind of similar to this, but what I've actually been doing is I've been doing the heavy, uh, like I'll do my heaviest set first and then I'll back off a little bit and then I'll back off again for that final set. Um, so I've still been running, I've still been running three working sets right now. Um, but of course the movements are different and then, um, so We'll do a, a close grip Smith press here, which I do, yeah, I do this flat, just flat Smith close grip press. I do a top set of six to 10, back up set of 10 to 12. Also, as you can see here on the high, on the shoulder press machine I said I'm doing, same thing, uh, top set of six to 10, back up set of 10 to 12. Um, and then we got, I do a pec deck on this session. So, I'll hit a pec deck, two working sets of 11 to 15. Um, and then I actually do a drop set on the final set typically. Um, and then where you get another side delt movement here. So single arm cable lateral raise again. And again, this is the hip level height. So adjust the cable pulley to the hip level. Um, and I'll do three working sets here of 11 to 15. Um, and then we got the push downs here, which actually what I've been doing is I've been doing single arm tricep extensions on this session because in the other session I've been using like a uh, maybe like an easy curl bar. So basically been doing it bilaterally. So then for this session, I'll do a unilateral variation. So like a single arm variation of a tricep extension and I'll do three working sets of 11 to 15 reps. Um, and then Again, just like with the first push session, I'll do an overhead extension as well. Um, and I believe for this session, I've been doing, I'll do like dual arm with the rope and I'll have the cable stack. And I'll just do dual arm with the rope. Um, so yeah, basically like, like you saw, like on the first session, I did a single arm variation for the overhead. And then for this session, I'll do dual arm. Um, and then I'll do a ab crunch machine again for this session. Um, and I just do a working set of eight to 10 reps and I'm working or in two working sets of 11 to 15. Um, so yeah, you can see with this session again, um, two lateral raise or two, yeah, two lateral raise variations. Again, I have for both my push sessions I'm doing right now, um, tricep focus press which is not something I was doing before, only for one of my push sessions was I doing like a tricep focus press. But for this session, or for this new setup, for both of my push sessions, I've been doing, you know, a tricep focus press. Um, and yeah, so we come down to this lat bias pull session, the second pull session. So I start out with a single arm lat pullover, two sets of 10 to 12 reps. And then going into that single arm bench supported lat pull down, just like I do on the first pull, pull session. Um, and then I'm doing three working sets here. One, six to 10, two, 10 to 12. Um, and then I has here the barbell seal row, which is what I was doing when I was at my older gym. Now, recently I've switched to a different gym. So what I've been doing here is just a chest supported row machine. Um, that my gym has and just basically, yeah, basically a top set and a back off set one, eight to 10 rep range set one, 10 to 12 rep range set. And so, like I said, I switched that out for just a chest supported row machine. Um, and it's a different one compared to the, the ones I, I did on the first pool session and then single arm dumbbell row, um, one set of eight to 10, one set of 10 to 12. And then, as you can see here, this is like an upper back focus cable row. So I'll do, right now I've just been using like a straight bar and just overhand grip, just like a cable row that way. And one set of eight to 10, one set of 10 to 12 there. So you can see for this session, um, more lat work, um, but also still get some upper back work too. Um, but you can see on this session, there's not, 
you know, I'm not loading the lower mech as much as on the first session I had those dead stock rows, which I'm going a bit heavier on. And of course, it's loading the lower back quite a bit. And so you see how I had that pull session and then I had a rest day before I went to the leg session. So it also aids with, you know, lower back fatigue, you know, versus if I had have just gone straight from that pull session into the next day hitting, you know, my legs, there may have been some extra lower back fatigue there. Um, so having that extra rest day before the leg session can come in handy in that case. Um, and then, yeah, so we have this session also, you know, I ended up doing a cable bicep curl. And this time I actually set up the cable high up so that I'm basically curling. I actually have a bench and I'll sit on a, have, sit with my arm supported against the bench, have the bench basically right in front of the cable station. And I'll do, you know, single arm bicep curls that way. Um, really challenging to shortened. Um, and then going into a dumbbell hammer curl ar alternating. Um, for both those movements, I'll do a set of 8 to 10 and a set of 11 to 15 reps. Um, and then ending off with the um, reverse pec deck. Typically, if I can get on it, otherwise I will do just a single arm cable fly. Um, but for that, for this session, one set of eight to 10, one set of 11 to 15. So then we get into the second leg session. So keep in mind, we have here, this is pull two. So I hit push two, and then I hit this pull session. Then I have a rest day. Then we go into this session, you know, and this session is more hip dominant. So with this session, we have the big movement here, which what I've been doing is the stiff leg deadlift. So again, I started out with the adductor again, just like in the first leg session. But for this session, the rep range is a little higher. So I, I do a higher rep range set on this session of 12 to 15 reps, just one working set. And the reason why I'm just doing one is just because I found that when I was doing more than one working set for my adductors, I found that I was having trouble recovering from the first leg session to the second. Um, so I actually started just doing one working set. Um, and then for this session, I'll do a lying leg curl, three working sets, one set of eight to 10, two sets of 10 to 15 reps. Um, and then going into the stiff leg deadlift. So, um, yeah, stiff leg deadlift, which is the big, really, really the big movement of this session, um, one set of eight to 10 reps, one set of four to six. Um, and then a hip dominant leg press. So what I've been doing is at the gym I go to, again, I have to use the same leg press for both my leg sessions. But for this session, I have a higher foot placement, a little bit wider stance. Um, and for this session, I'll do a top set of eight to 10, similar to how I do it on the other session where I will reset it at the top before I come back down. So I go, you know, I go a bit heavier for sure on that top set. You know, um, now for the back off, I keep it continuous reps. So the way I do that is, again, I'm not, when, I, when I'm when doing the back off set, as soon as I come all the way back up, I'm, ar I'm already starting to come back down again. I don't want to, I don't want to rest at the top. Um, so that's how I've been running that back off and, yeah, I don't do a pause at the bottom for this session like I do on the quad focus session. Um, so there is that adjustment too. Um, and then I actually do a glute drive machine on this session. Right now I've been running a Nautilus glute drive machine, one set of 8 to 10 and one working set of 11 to 15. And then split squats again on this session. Again, just one working set of 12 to 15 reps. And then ending up with calves, um, this time what I'll do is a standing calf raise. Um, so for the first leg session, you know, I'm doing a seated. This session I'll do a standing. Um, I, do, I do split squats on both my leg sessions. Um, the glute drive is, you know, a, a difference, you know, because I'm doing that just on this second leg session. And again, the leg press is adjusted um, with how I'm doing it compared to the first session I do. And of course I'm running stiff legs on this session and lying hand, lying leg curls instead of seated. Um, and then the adductor rep range is adjusted. 
So yeah, those are some variations there in the sessions. And again, keep in mind, you know, we have the rest day between um, the leg sessions here. So also, yeah, you know, just thinking about like the fact that, you know, I have this second um, leg session, which, you know, I'm loading the lower back for sure on that session. Then I have a rest day after that. And then I hit push A. And then I have that dead stop row session, you know, following that. So having that extra rest day there helps a lot, you know, going from the second leg session to that first pool session too. Um, but yeah, so that's basically how my current split has been looking. And again, those are all those sets that I, you know, talked about there are the working sets. And of course, that's not even including the warm up sets I do for every movement. I'm obviously doing warm up sets as well for each movement to get acclimated to that weight I'm going to use for the working sets. Um, so again, keep that in mind. It's not including warm up sets. That's just the working sets. Um, so that's how the current split is looking. Um, and so with the split, you know, the days I train vary like week to week. So for example, today is actually Saturday and I'm, it's a rest day today. I actually hit the um, first pull, I had pull one yesterday. So then I rest today and then I have to go into bar to hit legs. So um, it varies week to week. So that's one thing that's a little different about this setup compared to how I was training before when I would have set rest days. But I've really been enjoying it, um, and of course, right now I'm cutting, so unfortunately, like I'm not taking crazy progressions or anything, um, and I haven't really taken any crazy progressions since I've been doing this setup, because when I initially started running it, you know, earlier in the year, I was just not in a good, consistent routine with my eating, you know, and recovery, and that was definitely taking a toll on me, so... I'm looking forward to, you know, finishing out this cut and then getting to a point where I'm able to start a really nice long gaining phase mm -hmm. where I can really see good improvements um, in performance. That's going to be where it's really interesting. That's where I'm really looking forward to taking some good numbers on the stiff leg deadlifts, you know, and whatnot. But again, right now, we're still going to aim to retain what we can and still progress where we can. So, yeah, that's what my current split looks like, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions below. And also feel free to give me recommendations on what other types of videos you guys would like to see.